and drop. Drip, drop top, drop top. Smoking, no cooking, the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, she a dot dot dot. What's going on guys, it's Crimson Cage here and welcome back to another video. Now, I've not done a top 10 video in about 3 years. It was actually meant to be a series but to this day I've only ever done like 1 episode on it. But that's until now. Because ladies and gentlemen, top 10 videos are officially back. And today, I'm going to go over the top 10 most dangerous computer viruses in history. Now these computer viruses wreaked havoc across the world and did millions if not billions of dollars worth of damage. So with that being said, let's kick off this top 10 list. Number 10 Stuxnet First discovered in 2010, Stuxnet is a multi-part computer worm that mainly spread through infected USB sticks and then through computers that use Microsoft Windows. Spoiler alert, you're going to see a lot of Microsoft Windows on this list and I'm kind of scared because my computer runs Microsoft Windows, but I digress. This worm specifically targeted systems that manage electromechanical equipment, which were mainly on computers that were used by industrial companies, which brings me on to the most famous incident surrounding this worm and the creators behind it. For those who don't know about this worm, this worm targeted Iranian nuclear facilities. This worm was created with one purpose, destroy the centrifuges. The worm when plugged into a computer checks to see if the computer uses PLCs or programmable logic controllers. If the computer does have PLCs, then Stuxnet would sabotage the PLC, which caused the centrifuges in question to spin at uncontrollable speeds, thus causing them to break. Now who created this worm you ask? Well allegedly, this virus was actually created by US and his Israeli intelligence under the name Operation Olympic Games, making it the first ever cyber weapon to have ever been created, as well as one of the most advanced and complex worms ever created. Number 9 Crypto Locker now, I could have actually put this computer virus higher because in the grand scheme of things it should really be higher on this list but I've decided to leave it at number 9 because it didn't do as much damage as the ones you're going to see next on this list but it's still one of the most dangerous computer viruses ever simply because of how easy the virus worked. This doesn't need much of an explanation. The virus is a form of ransomware and was created back in 2013. It infected in excess of around 250,000 computers. The virus would infect a user via email or downloading dodgy files or visiting infected websites by encrypting all of the user's files and in order for the user to decrypt the files the user would have to pay the hacker bitcoins or any forms of currency. If you didn't pay the ransom you'd never see your files again, it's that simple. The hackers behind CryptoLocker still haven't been caught to this day and we don't know exactly how much damage this computer virus did. Number 8 SQL Slammer this was the virus that caused the internet to grind to a halt back in 2003. What it did was it targeted computers at random by sending copies of itself to other computers. Once infected, these computers would work together, controlled by the hackers to conduct denial of service attacks on internet hosts, slowing the internet down worldwide dramatically. Now this worm was fast, infecting tens of thousands of computers in just mere minutes. Let that sink in. Tens of thousands of computers infected within minutes. Now, banks were impacted the hardest by this because customers weren't able to access their bank accounts. Researcher David Litchfield disclosed to Microsoft that there was a vulnerability in their SQL server and there actually was an update to prevent the virus from being active in the first place. The problem is, it wasn't widespread, I mean not many people had it. SQL Slammer is one of the fastest spreading worms at the time and did around 1.2 billion dollars worth of damage in total, which is about 2 billion dollars today. The hackers responsible for this virus were never caught. Number 7 Cold Red now this virus was first discovered in 2001 by EI Digital Security Employees. I'm going to get their names wrong so I do apologise. Mark Mayfret and Ryan Perma. I definitely did not get those names right. I do apologise in advance. They then named the worm Cold Red because coincidentally enough they were drinking Red Mountain Dew at the time. So if anyone asks how Cold Red was called Cold Red that was the reason. This worm targeted any computer that ran Microsoft's Internet Information Services web server. You could tell that a website was hacked by this worm because the infected website's pages displayed the message hacked by Chinese on them. 
From what I'm aware, this was really the only way you could find out that your website was hacked by this worm because the worm was really hard to detect. Reason being is that it operates in the infected computer's memory rather than installing the infected file onto the computer. So it's not like you can just find the file because this worm didn't operate on the file, if that makes sense. Fun fact, this was the computer worm that hacked the White House's own website. This worm did about $2.4 billion worth of damage at the time, which in total is about $3.7 billion today considering inflation. I don't think the people who created this virus were actually caught, so take that for what you will. Number six, Conficker worm. This worm was discovered in 2008. Out of all the computer worms on this list, this one is the most difficult one to explain and I only saw one explanation as to how this worm actually works. So I'm only going off of said explanation that I've found. So bear with me on this one. So it infected the Microsoft Windows operating system. Shock horror. Why is it always Microsoft Windows? Now what it does is it exploits a vulnerability in Windows operating system software and dictionary attacks on administrator passwords to propagate and while it's doing this it's also creating a botnet which is like a range of infected computers that work together to conduct DDoS attacks. It could also block access to security websites as well as download more malware onto your computer which makes it really clever. The worm hit from home computers to businesses to governments across 190 countries. Let that sink in 190 countries got infected with this one virus which is insane and because of it it makes this virus one of the largest computer worms ever created and did around nine billion dollars worth of damage which is about 13 billion dollars of damage in today's money and to this day the creator of the conficker worm has never been found so we don't know who created it number five wanna cry now, this is the most recent entry on this list as it occurred back in 2017. If you were on the receiving end of this computer virus, you'd want to cry, no pun intended. This virus is nearly identical to CryptoLocker, but it's definitely more dangerous than CryptoLocker. Allow me to explain. So, like CryptoLocker, it is a form of ransomware and it didn't actually encrypt your files, but it did take them hostage and the only way to get them back was to pay the hackers money. If you didn't pay the ransom, your files were gone. Which, in the grand scheme of things, CryptoLocker does sound worse, however, this virus was far more widespread than CryptoLocker as it infected around 300,000 computers in 150 countries with the most infamous case being the attack on the NHS themselves. That's right, this virus was used to attack the NHS in the UK. Now this was especially bad because they couldn't access patients records, surgeries that weren't a necessity were delayed and appointments were just cancelled outright. This virus did 92 million pounds of damage to the NHS alone and in total did around $4 billion of damage worldwide which is around $5.1 billion of damage in today's money and I didn't find any information that stated that someone was actually caught for making this virus so I'm going to assume that the hackers responsible for this were never caught but I could be wrong. Number 4. Claire's. This worm made its debut back in October of 2001 and it originated in China. The worm itself is a very small Windows PE EXE file. The virus is an email virus so it searches for email addresses in an infected computer and then when it's found email addresses from that computer it then sends fake emails and it attaches itself as well as any file it wants onto them using its own SMTP. It can use any subject headers or body text it wants meaning it can keep sending emails with copies of itself attached to the same person so it disguises itself as a legit email when in reality it's a dangerous one hence why these viruses are able to spread so quickly. The virus sent infected emails to everyone in your address book and then it manipulated everyone in your address book into thinking that the emails came from you. So when people ask why they've been infected with the virus, all they need to do is look at who sent them the virus, i.e. being your email, and then it will make them think that you sent them the virus, when in reality it's the virus itself that is sending itself to them. Now this virus was so widespread that it infected 7 million computers, which in 2001 equates to 7.2% of all known computers in the world. This one virus infected 7.2% of all computers and it caused nearly 20 billion dollars of damages, which in today money is around 48 billion dollars of damages. The creators of this virus were unfortunately never found. Number 3. So big. 
This virus might be called so big, but it's not as big as my dick. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Okay, I might have gone a bit too far with that joke. It is a joke, by the way. But anyway, let's just get back to our number three pick. Debuted in 2003, So Big was a mass mailing worm that targeted computers that ran certain versions of Microsoft Windows. Not only that, but it was actually also a Trojan horse because of its ability to disguise itself as something safe rather than what it was. There were six different versions of this worm, So Big A, So Big B, So Big C, So Big D, So Big E, and So Big F. Now, the most dangerous version of this virus was so big f similar to claire's this worm spread by email it would look for email addresses on an infected machine and then once it's found those email addresses it would send emails attaching itself onto the email to any address it found so it's self-replicating the subjects of the emails were things like the following re movies re sample re document and re here is that sample and there were four possible attachment names movie underscore 0074.mpeg.pi document 003.pif, untitled1.pif, and sample.pif. At the time, it was the fastest spreading computer virus of all time. It did about $30 billion worth of damage, which is around $44 billion of damages in today's money, which was the most damage done by any virus until the next virus in this list took its crown. Luckily, the virus actually deactivated itself, not even that long after it first appeared. Reason being is because Microsoft put out a $250 $50,000 reward to anybody who can find the creator or creators of the virus, which is great. The problem is that reward has yet to be collected to this day, meaning the people behind this virus were again never caught. Now for the top two in this list. Oh boy. You could argue that any one of these viruses could have made the number one spot, like between number two and number one. They're both dangerous. They're two of the most dangerous viruses I've ever seen, in my opinion. This might be an unpopular opinion in of itself because the number two most dangerous computer virus that I have put on this list in the grand scheme of things should really be number one because it's technically the most dangerous computer virus ever but I would argue that the number one most dangerous computer virus that I put on this list did so much more damage to the user out of all the computer viruses on this list the one at number one I don't want any part of in any capacity because that would absolutely just ruin my life but anyway let's get to number two on this list and this is gonna get very controversial number two my doom. Considered by many to be the most dangerous computer virus in history, the MyDoom virus first appeared back in 2004. This is basically a more dangerous version of SoBig. The worm spread via email, it would look for email addresses on the infected machine. It would then send emails attaching itself onto the email and then send that email to any address that it found. It disguised itself as something safe. However, what makes this one more dangerous is that any computer that was hacked by this virus was added to a botnet that was created by the hackers the ones that create the virus. The hackers would then carry out DDoS attacks against websites, flooding them with so much traffic that the websites crashed, rendering them unusable. To this day, MyDoom is the fastest spreading and most damaging computer virus ever created statistically. All right, pay attention to that part. It did about $38 billion worth of damage, which in today's money is over $50 billion. Now, the worst thing about it, you could argue, is that MyDoom is actually still active today. It literally is still around right now. It makes up around 1% of all phishing emails, and the hackers behind MyDoom still haven't been caught to this day. Number one. I love you. First created in 2000 by a student from the Philippines, this virus did about $15 billion of damage, which is around $24 billion of damage in today's money. So you ask yourself, why is this virus ranked higher than so big, Claire's, and My Doom, even though they were more costly than the I Love You virus? Well, so big and My Doom, as bad as they were, never caused any damage to the infected PC's hardware or its files or even its critical data. And Claire's didn't spread anywhere near as wide or as fast as the I Love You virus. When the I Love You virus hit the internet in 2000. It was the fastest, most dangerous worm to ever hit the internet. It spread via email attachments by exploiting vulnerabilities in Microsoft Outlook's address book. It disguised itself in a TXT file as a love letter with the subject line being I love you with an attachment named love letter for you TXT. However, it wasn't a TXT file like it wanted you to believe. In reality, it was a malicious visual basic script file. If you open this file, oh my god, were you 
screwed. First, it would automatically send copies of itself to every single person in your address book. So if you had like 100 people, for example, in your address book, every single one of them will be sent this virus. But wait! If you thought that was bad, listen to this next part. Then it would find any image, office document and media file it wanted or any file that it could do harm to and it would do the following. It would overwrite the files, corrupt the files and delete the files. What the fuck? What? 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 That's right, most of your data on your computer gone instantly at the click of a button. In less than 10 days, this virus infected, get ready for this, 46 million PCs around the world. That's more than so big and Claire's combined. This is the most infamous computer virus of all time. And in my opinion, it did more damage to the user than any computer virus in history. And there we have it folks, that was my top 10 most dangerous computer viruses, computer worms, whatever it is you want to call it, of all time. Do you agree with this list? Did I miss any viruses that should have made the list? Let me know down in the comments below. It's been your boy Crimson Cage and I'll see you in the next video.